Hey everyone, welcome to Soleil Tech. This is going to be Annie Dew versus Wonderless, the first in a series. First, we're going to start off with comparing how you create tasks in each application. So, obviously, we're starting off with Annie Dew, and the way you create a task in Annie Dew is pretty simple. There's going to be a bar at the top with a blinking cursor in it. After you tap it, this is I want to. And I'm going to put in an example task. And all I have to do to add that to any do is tap this plus button all the way to the right. And it's suddenly added to my list for things I want to do. Now obviously that's not going to happen today so I'm going to go ahead and move it down to someday just by dragging it all the way down to the bottom of the screen. Now we're going to look at some more of the options we get while creating tasks in any do. So we can tap the task, then we can mark it as important. We can search the web for change the world. We can add reminders, something I will get into in a later video if you guys want me to. And we can add a note. And finally, you can share your task with a contact. And then if I decide mm, I'd rather not change the world, all I have to do is swipe to the right and it's gone. I can press the little X all the way to the right side of the screen if I want to get rid of that permanently. Moving on to Wonderless, the easiest way to add an item in Wonderless is to go to the very top of the screen and there's a bar that says add an item. Tap there and you can type in anything you want. I'm going to go with the same task, change the world. Now we have changed the world in the top bar. Then I just hit save on my keyboard. And there, save the world as an official task in my inbox. Now let's look at some more options that we can change when creating tasks in Wonderlist. We can set a due date. We can ask their app to remind us when we want to change the world. We can add a subtask. So in this case, it would be steps I have to take to change the world. We can add some additional notes there at the bottom. You can also star really important events. And finally, we can add a file. However, this is a Wonderless Pro only feature. And I almost forgot there at the bottom, you can add a comment, which is also an exclusive Wonderless Pro only feature. After I've completed this task, I can simply check the checkbox next to it, and it's under my completed items now. To delete this task, all I have to do is hold it down and go to the top right corner where there's a little trash can. I get a little box pop up asking me if I really want to delete this. I'll say yes and it's gone. Although both applications had a pretty decent feature set, any do with it. Both applications included options while creating tasks that stood out to me, such as the sharing with a contact feature in the any do that could be really useful if you're trying to reach some goals and you want your friends to help motivate you by reminding you that you set those goals. And then there are the options to add files such as photos to your tasks in Wonderlist. And the option to add subtasks such as steps to your projects in Wonderlist. Although some of the features are locked off to Wonderlist Pro users only, at least they exist, and that's worth some points in my book. So I'm going to give this round to Wonderlist just because of it's a little bit of a better feature set and overall interface. Which application has a better interface for creating tasks? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.